trying to pick up some of this shit. Y'all need to clean tighten this up. You wonder why they don't want to do things for you. Y'all so need Tom, to get up. Hey. Tom, Tom right here, down here in uh, southwest Detroit. Your, your name? Tanya. Tanya. Uh, Tanya, I take these videos and I upload them to YouTube. You okay with that? I'm fine with that. Okay, cool. Where are you from? Detroit, Michigan, right here. All right. And uh, you've been around here a while? Oh, for a few years. Okay. Uh, go to high school in Detroit? I tried, but I, I dropped out. Okay. What, what grade? At the 10th grade. All right. What type jobs have you had over the years? I worked for, uh, what's that? Uh, I worked at, at uh, what is, uh, the Big Boys when it was on Woodward okay. and Mac. I've also worked for uh, mm, oh, the Salvation Army off of Fort Street. I acquired that internship to, uh, what's that, uh, the, skill, the skill school right there on Canfield and Woodward, okay. TBS. Yep. I think that's what they call it. All right. And okay. uh, I did my internship, and before my internship was over, I was hired in to the, one of their their stores. Oh, right, nice. For so one store, I had I ended up going to a, a second store. Okay. okay. I was living in Highland Park, Michigan. Okay. And uh, I had to catch the bus. All right. Okay. I was there every day. All day. Oh wow. Okay. No sick days, no late days, yeah. none of that. Cause yeah. I wanted to change my life. Okay. As a sixty year old woman, yeah. which I will be this year coming. Happy birthday. I have dance. thank you. I've had I have four boys and four girls. I've been married three times. Okay. okay. And in the event I chose to bring my life, give the power back to me. Right. Okay. Yeah. Uh I was I was an addict out here, you know what I'm saying? Uh, shooting, shooting hair and rod, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, all these four different times I've sat lying until I got the message, you know? Yeah. And I quit by way of cold turkey, not a rehab place. Well, For me, it was enough. It was, it's, it's, it's a wrap, it was all. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I live by that. Now, when you, when you flatlined, did they give you Narcan, bring you back? Uh, no, that wasn't even out then. Oh, okay. Just brought you back. Just brought me back by the grace of God. Okay, so your your drug problems was it only heroin? Did you do other things as well? Oh, I used to do pills back in my younger days, okay. chemicals and things of that nature. And I've been an alcoholic, a drinker of alcohol since the age of 13, going on 14. You know, and I still drink today. Yeah, yeah. yeah pretty much. Um, my coffee is not Maxwell House and, and, and Folgers, okay? Yeah, gotcha. So you're it's, still drinking? Yeah. How much would you say you put away a day? A day? Mm, I could probably do what? I have a six pack by myself. Okay. Do you consider your drinking a problem? Yeah. But it, it takes over my, my menta mental yeah. and uh, my ability to be more productive and constructive okay yeah. so basically i take myself down but i'm also learning that i can do this if i have the strength of myself okay yeah. i am also um i'm not a bible stuffer but i trust and believe in my higher power okay and uh, he has taught and showed me by way of dreams and just natural life out here that you can do anything you want to if you want to you can't, should never be in your vocabulary. Right. Oh. What you have to think about, don't do it. All right. Either you know what you're about to walk into, or you don't. All right. Choices are ours, okay? Right. I choose to live, okay? I live today with hep C. I have high blood pressure. I have to take psychotropics in order to keep my groove, my stableness. You know what I'm saying? And that, and I read my daily bread, not every day faithfully, but I read it. You know, I do a fill in puzzle books, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just to keep my mind, you know what I'm yeah. saying? That's not very easy to do for an addict. Yeah, no. No matter what, you know what right. I'm saying? Because without your mental stability, you can't do anything because right. you can't focus. Yeah, right. You know, yeah. it's taken me a long time to come to terms with these yeah. things. Congratulations. I'm not, Thank you so very much. Thank you for allowing me to do this interview oh, good with you. Analysis. It's my pleasure. Yeah. What is your favorite childhood memory? 
uh, uh, the I was in the, uh, the the Motown Review, okay, as a finalist, the youngest finalist, down at the Fox Theater, and like, I did uh, say a little prayer, okay, and I was first on stage, and then after it was over, the country show, when Mr. David Ruffin came out on stage, he had my hand in his hand, and I walked him out on stage. Nice. It is a heck of a memory. Yes, and I'll one that I'll never for, forget. You no, know, no. Um, my father was an Air Force man. You know what I'm saying? And uh, in spite of the the opportunities I had, like with rec recording companies and things of that nature, he wanted me to have my Scalactus opposed to that. You know what I'm saying? I guess that's a tough love or whatever. It didn't mean to hurt me, but in the end, at the end of the day. It hurt me because it's like my dream. Right. It was my dream, you know. Yeah. No, but well, I still try to hit a bar or two every now and then. Yeah, all and right. sing, you know what yeah, I mean? Nice. But uh, yeah. You know, I'm oh. just I'm an adventurer. You know what I'm saying? Uh, if something makes me feel cornered or whatever or shit, I set my mental to do something different. You know what I'm saying? It may be just geography. Yeah. But sometimes geography is what you need. You know what I'm saying? Because. All these drugs are going to be out here, no matter where you go. Yeah, right. But if you yeah. got to set your mind to doing something positive, so you go step up the ladder instead of falling back down. Yeah. Do you do you have a favorite book? A favorite book? I don't read very much, okay. other than the Daily Bread. All right. Okay. Now that, that's my favorite. Oh, all right. Okay. Uh, and, a, and a favorite movie? Oh, uh, what love got to do with it? Oh, you like that? I love it. Good. Good. It tells a very creative creative story to me because I see myself as that lady you know what I'm saying back in the day only I didn't have anybody at me in a music matter like that I just could take it away from me from my, my old father yeah. you know what I'm saying because yeah. he wanted he saw something else for me uh -huh. okay yep you got any questions for me yeah what what made you choose me for an interview well, uh, I could just see interacting with people, and it seemed like you had a really uh, interesting personality, and I wanted to capture it on the video. So, are you disappointed? No. Happy. Thank you. I'm more than happy. This is a great interview. Thank you so very much. I'm going to upload it. I hope you get a chance to watch it. It'll be up in a couple days. Okay, on what, what is it? Chosen on? One. The Chosen One? Yeah, and two words, and one is spelled W-O-N. W-O-N? Yeah, and you'll get all to see all the nice comments people leave for you. Okay, I'm gonna give my granddaughter, my granddaughter, to pull it up for yep, me yep. because I'm like, um, mm, that uh, ah, my skills, my skills for computers and yeah. things of that nature yeah. right there. That's why I don't even have a telephone. Yeah, you're lucky. They're too, it's too, too complicated. They're yeah. doing too much on that. Yeah, you're lucky. So, but she knows how to work. Okay. So I give her. One. It's easy to remember. Okay. But remember, the one is with a W, not O. Oh, oh, and it's two words. Okay. Right? Okay. Thank you. No, thank you. The pleasure's been online. You, you have, have a, a blessed day. You too. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>